Hi guys, in this video I will show you different type of scatter plots using Seaborn and Matplotlib. So before starting, I want to say that this is the first video of 2022 and I want you to show some support by subscribing to the channel. I also want to thank you guys for hitting 500 subscribers on the channel. And now let's get started. So first of all, I will do few imports. So I've imported pandas, matplotlib and seaborn. Now I will import the CSV file. So this CSV file contains four columns, location, salary, sales and salesperson. So this tells how much sales or salespersons have done with respect to his or salary and location. Now I will draw the most basic scatter plot. So this is the most basic scatter plot. Here on the x-axis the salary is shown and on the y-axis sales figure. You can see that this concentration of salary and sales lies here and there are some outliers. Now I will show you some variations of this scatter plot. I will mark down the cell. Here the basic dimensions of the scatter plot will remain same. So I will copy the code. But two more parameters will be added in this function. First is hue. I will make that equal to location. And the second is palette, which is basically the color theme. I'm choosing dark too, but you can choose anything else. You can see that each location is marked with different colors. And the table of the colors is given here. Now I will show you one more variation of scatter plot in which the size of the dots will change with respect to the salary. I will use the basic code of the scatter plot and add one more parameter size and make it equal to salary. Here you can see that the sizes of the dots have changed with respect to the salary. The minimum salary has the smallest dot and the maximum salary has the biggest dot. And table of the size with respect to the salary is given here. Now let's move to another variation. In this variation I will add transparency to the dots. I will paste the code of scatter plot. Now I will specify the size of the dots. The size of the dots will be irrespective of the sales and salary figure. Now I will mention the alpha value which is responsible for the transparency of the dots. I like to keep it 0.2 but you can experiment with it. So this is the output. You can see that the maximum density lies in this area. Now let's move to one more variation. In this variation I will add style with hue. First of all I will mention the dot size and then make hue equal to location. and style equal to location. You can see that not only the locations have different colors but also different shapes and these shapes are mentioned in this table. So that's it guys. I hope you like the video. Please like, share and subscribe and I will meet you in the next video.